Welcome to Stony Brook Finance Lab channel. Welcome to Stony Finance Lab YouTube channel. My name is Yong Chen. Today we're going to talk about investing for retirement. Retirement planning can start as soon as you feel you have money left from supporting your essential daily life. Some start immediately after graduating from college and entering the workforce. Retirement planning is a financial strategy of savings and investments to sustain you and your spouse during retirement life. We will discuss four common retirement plans. There are three main types of retirement plans. One type is a government plan, which includes a social security benefits. The second type is a spouse-sponsored savings or investing accounts. The other type is employer-sponsored, including 401k and pensions. A typical example of a government retirement plan is social security. You automatically qualify if you're working and paying taxes. Eligible individuals to receive benefits payments include those age 62 or older, spouses of qualified workers, and disabled. To be a qualified retired adult receiving social security benefits, an individual must work 40 credits throughout his working years. Every $1,510 in earnings on your paycheck will be worth a credit in 2022. A maximum of four credits could be earned a year. The monthly social security benefits payment would be the average index monthly earnings. The average is summarized up to 35 years of a worker's index earning. The calculation will reflect changes in general wage levels as measured by the National Average Wage Index. Keep in mind that social security tax has a wage base limit. If you want to maximize your benefits payment, think about retiring at an older age. The monthly benefits would be different for the same individual that retires at different ages. For example, an individual retiring at age 62 will receive about $2,300 in monthly payments. However, the same individual retiring at age 70 will receive about $4,200 in monthly payments. Visit the Social Security government website to check out your Social Security statement and more. Next, we're going to talk about individual retirement accounts, commonly referred to as IRAs. Any individual can set up an account in a bank or financial institution, life insurance company, or mutual funds. The total annual contribution to all your IRA accounts in 2023 is $6,500 for workers on the age 50 and $7,500 for workers age 50 and over. Individuals receive up to a thousand dollar tax credit for making eligible contributions to IRAs. There are several types of IRAs, but the two main types of IRAs are traditional and Roth IRA. Contributions to a traditional IRA can be counted as a pre-tax income. The money will not be detaxed with, until withdrawals. In contrast, contribution to a Roth IRA is post-tax income. There will be no tax at times of a withdrawal. Next, we're going to talk about 401k and 403b. These are employers offer retirement savings and investing plan, with 401k are offered by private for-profit companies, while 403b plans are only offered by the nonprofit organization and government employees. An employer might match 50 cents for every dollar the employee contributes up to a certain percentage of salary. Total employee employer and annual contribution to 401k could not exceed 61000 for workers under age 50 and 67000 for workers under age 50 and over. On average, employer will contribute to the 401k by matching about 50% for every dollar the employee contributes, up to 6% of the employee contribution. If you leave a job, there are several rollover options for the existing 401k accounts. You can leave money in your old employer's plan, roll it into your new employer's plan, transfer it to an IRA, or withdraw the balance. The two main types of 401k are traditional and Roth 401k plans. Contributions to a traditional 401k or 403b account are your pre-tax wages. Tax will occur at withdrawals. In contrast, Contributions to a Roth 401k or 403b accounts are your after-tax wages, with no tax if you withdraw after age 59 and a half. Lastly, another employer sponsors retirement benefits is pensions, which provides retirement income or the first income until termination of covered employment or beyond.
the number of types of retirement plans, including the 401k plan and the traditional pensions plan, known as defined benefit plan. A defined benefit plan means you know the amount of money payment at your retirement. Employers will make a maximum twenty-five percent contribution to the pensions. There is no annual contribution limit. Some key points to take note on pensions are first. Few companies offer pensions. Only fourteen percent of Fortune five hundred companies offer new empl- workers' pension plan in twenty nineteen. Pensions would be a stronger financial sa- safety net for retirement, lowering the risk of running out of money during retirement. Here are some tips to boost your retirement savings. Contribute to your employer's sponsored accounts. Open an IRA to take tax advantage. Stash cash. Delay to claim Social Security benefits. Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching this video. Please feel free to like, comment, and subscribe to this YouTube channel.